question that often comes up is how do I create an analysis method in GMAP or IDX software? And then the follow-up, what is an analysis method anyway? Simply put, it's a collection of user-defined settings IDX uses to analyze forensic DNA samples. It essentially tells the software how to identify, size, genotype, and assess peaks. So let's go ahead and create one. In the software, access the GMapper IDX Manager from the Tools menu. On the Analysis tab, select New. You need to define a name in the General tab and select a security group. The rest is optional. Now click on the Allele tab. First select what bins to use. This defines the alleles based on the STR kit you are using. To automatically use the stutter values defined in your panel, check the Marker Specific Stutter checkbox. This setting is typically utilized for casework samples. But for reference samples or databasing samples, global filters are often used. To use this option, simply enter a percentage in the applicable boxes below. You can customize how IDX identifies and sizes peaks in the Peak Detector tab. Be sure to reference your lab's SOP or your STR kit user guide to help decide what settings to use. You can select the full analysis range to analyze all the data points collected by the CE, or you can specify a specific range. The sizing range allows you to set in base pairs your size standard range. The peak amplitude thresholds specify the RFU value for peak detection for each dye color. These settings should be based on your lab's validated analytical thresholds. Pay special attention to the normalization checkbox. It's selected by default, so be sure to deselect it if you do not want to normalize your 3500 data. The other settings in this tab are utilized during the peak detection process. These settings are a topic for another day. The settings in the peak quality tab won't modify how your data is analyzed, but it will define how the software assesses and flags the samples. The minimum peak height fields help to identify potential allelic dropout. These settings can be used to flag alleles that fall under a stochastic threshold, while the max peak height flag setting can be used to flag peaks over a specific RFU. The remaining fields in the Peak Quality tab can be used to identify sister allele imbalances, artifacts, loss of resolution, and potential mixed samples. You can even decide if you want to detect spikes differently in your allelic ladders and your samples. The weighting of flags is controlled in the SQ and GQ settings tab. A value of zero means the flag is not turned on, while a value of one is the highest weight. Optimization of this tab is especially helpful when using the software as an expert system. For the software to properly check the autosomal and YSTM workers in a kit such as Global Filer, you will need to change the amylogen and cross-check weight to a value of 0.3 or higher. You can also change the range values for pass, check, and low quality for sample sizing quality and genotype quality. Once your analysis method is set, simply hit save. Don't forget the help button if you need assistance. Thanks for tuning in to this Back to Basis episode of Forensic Focus. If you have any questions, just submit them at the link below.